your life is in the spotlight. You got this show. When you have a problem and it plays out in the public, it's so unfair because now you can't solve the problem amongst yourself. You have to try to solve your problem amidst public opinion. And, and room and God, how do, how do you cope with something that's happening traumatic in your marriage in front of people, though? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely taboo to people. People don't understand it, you know. Um, you know, it's hard to relate to others being in our position. Um, but in a way, it does, it, for, our, for our sake, we work with an amazing producer who is genuinely a friend to us, who actually, he's almost like a therapist. He helps us through it and he wants to see the happy ending and he wants to see it mm -hmm. and, and I want it and he wants it and we're just finding the way and we, we do in cases like reuniting with my dad after 19 years mm -hmm. and we do after we're, we're together for seven years in June. Like, you know, some people it tears them apart because they believe the rumors. It ends up being competition to each other. You know, it ends up being about the ego like of, of a celebrity, me, me, me. But in this case, we are about each other we're about our marriage. We're about one. We are going to die together. You know what I'm saying? We we have faith. We're very faithful people. Yeah, because you, they, they <laughs> okay. After they couldn't get you with him, then they came at you again, and then they they put the room out that you were having an affair. Yeah. How how crazy was that for you? You know, I believed I was single for a, for a little bit of time there. I I had divorce in my mind, and you know, and it, and there became a point where I actually liked the feeling, you know, and I accepted it through the tr drama with us. So then when he, when we started working things out, I'm like, oh my God, but I, I love him, but, but like, I f feel like I want to be single, but so I didn't know what I wanted. And so, um, Hank gave me like the freedom to explore it, you know, mentally, not physically, but mentally. And, uh, he wanted to, he wanted me to really know that this is what I want. And I, and I ended up coming out of it knowing that this is really, truly what I want. Um, you know, I did. Y'all special, because I, I, ain't, I ain't got we, none of this in I, me. <laughs> but the thing is, like, <laughs> we are. I put her through the worst moment of her life. And like she said, I told her, I was like, find out who you are. I told her, don't go cross the line. Because if you cross the line, then I know what you want. It's not like you get the best of both worlds. But right. I was like, you know, go out. She was hanging out with people. People would text her, but I would rather that than her sneak around and and hide things. So you just told him point blank, a, a guy is texting. Yeah, yeah. I would say, you know what? I'm right right now, and and you know, I, this is this guy from the past that's texting me, and I and I don't know how to feel about it because I actually still have kind of feelings, and you know, so we're very open with those kind of talks, and but we're, you know, we're through it now, and. Um, Nothing ever happened physically, or like nothing even crossed the line. It was just like mentally, like mental chaos. Y'all, y'all teaching me something here. Y'all <laughs> on my show as a guest, y'all are actually teaching me something because I actually try to kill somebody. <laughs> if it wouldn't be for what I, what happened to me that caused this all mess up, if she tried to say this outside of that, oh no, no, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, we're gonna be talking to me behind bars. But, yeah, <laughs> but I had, I had to, I had to learn my lesson and find out how valuable and important she is to my life, and I realize that. I mean, but that's cool, because I guess in your mind, look, you can go do whatever you want to do. You're not going to find nobody love me like you. Exactly the way I said it. Exactly the way. And the thing is, like, no one will treat you and understand you like, like I do. And I was like, you can go on out. You know, you'll come, me and the kids will still be here, so you can make your decision. I'll be here comfortable, but go play around if you want. Wow. <laughs> I, I ain't said that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I've said it to other people because, you know, my wife travels a lot. And so uh, somebody came to me once and said, hey, man, like, suppose your wife meets somebody abroad that has more money than you and all that. This means a whole lot of dudes got more money than me. What that mean? What you cannot do? Marjorie Harvey can't find nobody treat her better than I treat her and feel what I feel about her. Mm -hmm. that, 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 he don't, I don't care who he is. Hey folks, welcome. Uh, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click here to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss a single hot new video, some really good stuff. And then I want you to click here to see more clips from the show right now.